This is breaking news. Closer look at the federal investigation into seeing Diddy Combs. Months after singer Cassie Ventura filed suit against her ex-boyfriend Seen Diddy Combs, his life looks very different. The man who rose from an intern at a record label to building his own music empire in Bad Boy Records was once a beloved figure who held enough influence to launch recording careers, successful fashion and spirits lines, and even a voting movement. Those days seem over. In her now-settled claim filed in November, Ventura accused Combs of raping her in 2018 and years of abuse over the course of their relationship. In the past six months, he has been named in seven other lawsuits in which he has been accused of sexual misconduct and other illegal activity. Combs has vehemently denied claims from many of the civil suits but has not responded to all of the allegations. After CNN published a 2016 surveillance video that showed Combs physically assaulting Ventura, the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office said the incident they described as extremely disturbing was outside the statute of limitations to prosecute. But the video could become evidence in an ongoing federal investigation related to comms and allegations of sex trafficking. CNN has learned that investigators are preparing to bring accusers of comms before a federal grand jury in New York, according to two sources familiar with the probe. This signals that the U.S. Justice Department is moving toward potentially seeking an indictment of comms. Authorities are digging deeper into the civil suits and mining them for potential witnesses and evidence against the star, one of the sources told CNN. Federal investigators are also looking into allegations of money laundering and illegal drugs, CNN has learned. It's much bigger than just these lawsuits, one of the sources familiar with the scope of the investigation said. Here's a closer look at what has been revealed about the federal case so far. Authorities searched Combs homes in Miami and Los Angeles on March 25 because he is a target of a federal probe carried out by Homeland Security Investigations, HSI, the lead investigative arm of the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, according to a senior federal law enforcement official briefed on the case. The investigation stems from many of the same sexual assault allegations put forth in the civil lawsuits, according to a second law enforcement source familiar with the searches. KZI is responsible for investigating transnational crime and threats, including human trafficking, terrorism, narcotic smuggling, and other organized criminal activity. A spokesperson for AZI declined to comment on the existence of a grand jury, but noted the investigation remains ongoing. A lawyer for Combs objected to how the searches were conducted. There was a gross overuse of military-level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs' residences, Aaron Dyer, Combs' attorney, said in a statement to CNN at the time. There is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way his children and employees were treated. Two of Combs' adult sons, Justin, 30, and Christian, 26, were detained and briefly handcuffed during the search warrant execution at his Los Angeles mansion. They were not arrested or charged. Justin's mother, stylist Misa Hilton, also took exception to how her son and his brother were treated. The overzealous and overtly militarized force used against my sons Justin and Christian is deplorable, she wrote in a social media post in April. If these were the sons of a non-black celebrity, they would not have been handled with the same aggression. The attempt to humiliate and terrorize these innocent young black men is despicable. Hilton is not Christian Combs' biological mother. He is the son of the late Kim Porter with whom Seen Combs also shared now 17-year-old twin daughters, Leela and Jesse. Potential Evidence The raids on Combs' homes came weeks after a lawsuit filed against him by Rodney Lil Rod Jones, a former producer and videographer for the music mogul. Jones accuses Combs and others of racketeering, sexual assault, and sex trafficking in 2022 and 2023 as Jones worked on Combs' most recent album, Love. Jones also alleges Combs did not compensate him for his music-producing work. Ventura, too, accused Combs of sex trafficking, allegedly forcing her to engage in various sex acts with male sex workers through threats of violence. A decision to settle a lawsuit, especially in 2023, is in no way an admission of wrongdoing, Ben Raffman, an attorney for Combs, said when Ventura's lawsuit was settled. Another attorney for Combs denied Jones' allegations and called his claims lies. 